Today we are refinishing this oil finished cherry island top and converting it to a varnique finish uh, using a easy product, quick application available on the site. The first step we're going to do to convert this oil finish to varnish finish is a light sanding. I'm using a vibrating sander with a 400 grit sandpaper just to loosen it up, roughen it up just a little bit. Wipe it dry, get it nice and clean, apply our simple varnish. Lightly sand the edges as well. Lightly wipe the surface off with a clean cloth to remove all sanding wood particles. Get it nice and clean before finishing. Okay, the product we're using today for the refinishing is a uh, Varnique Easy Do. I will uh, zoom in on the product for you there. It's food safe. Uh, for food contact surfaces, protects in one easy step. You just brush it on. Uh, it's basically uh, safe stuff. I highly recommend you get it. It's not cheap, but honestly, you get what you pay for. So you can pick it up there, and uh, it's in stock. They give you free shipping, too. And to apply it, we're going to do a few simple steps. I always use a pair of these disposable latex gloves. Keeps your hands clean and dry fast, it's easy, quick cleanup. Uh, when you open this up, there's no need to shake it. You don't want to get air bubbles in the product. Just give it a little, uh, give it a little uh, stir with the brush and you're good to go. It's thick, thick stuff, kind of like uh, a gelatin. But like I said, food safe for contact surfaces, non-toxic, that's what you're looking for. We're going to start in the middle and work our way out as well as apply some of the, the sealer. I'm going to put a good amount of it right down the middle and then we're going to spread it out with a larger brush. Uh, it's not put on real thick, it's just to preserve and protect, keep out the humidity and the moisture, uh, kids and markers and uh, everyday use. This is what you need right here to uh, preserve your butcher block. Okay, I got a nice amount of it here for the middle. I'm going to switch over the large brush and just make long strokes back and forth just like this okay I'm going to zoom in on that for you you can see it's already looking pretty good Brush strokes should go with the wood grain. You want to follow the wood grain and uh, spread it out nice and thin, nice and even. Nice, long, even strokes with the wood grain. Pay special attention around the edges so as to not have any overruns or drips. And that's it. The finished Varnik Easy Do Seal looks pretty good on this cherry. Check it out. Here's a close-up. Wow. Uh, we're here today. We're going to be re refinishing this cutting board. Uh, refinishing cutting board or butcher block is not difficult. You need to have a couple sandpapers. This is coarse, medium, fine. I believe it's 60 grit, 100 grit, and 400 grit. Anyway, we're going to use these three sandpapers and we're going to sand this off. You can use a block of wood and you can wrap the block of wood around the... Uh, uh, wrap the sandpaper around the block of wood and give it a little like this. It is working. It's removing a little bit of uh, material. Or you can 
get one of these little electric vibrating sanders. These things work great. So we're going to use this and we're going to refinish this block and we'll show you the finished uh, block when we come back. You can see right now, I'll zoom in, there are quite a bit of small scratches in this block. We're going to be removing all of these. Okay. Okay, we recommend doing this outside with some headphones and some safety glasses. Okay, you got those, we're good to go. Okay, we're just finishing up with some fine sandpaper here. Okay, the finished cutting board has been sanded very nicely. Uh, it's close to being like new. Uh, it could spend a little more time, maybe a bigger sander, belt sander, we get it a little more, but it's pretty nice. And uh, these are the two products I like to use to refinish my block. Uh, this is uh, mystery oil, and the mystery oil does have beeswax in there. You can actually see it in the bottom. You give it a shake before you use it. And this is board cream, Boost board cream. This is primarily beeswax. It's a little thicker stuff. Uh, both great products. I like them. And I'm going to show you very quickly how I apply. Okay, these two products are available and they're in stock at the site. Uh, in this bottle, I've mixed the two products together. This is uh, mystery oil and board cream mixed together. I warm it in a little bowl of hot water to kind of loosen it up so it's at least maybe 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and I'm going to apply a little bit like this, kind of a circular fashion all over the board. And I like to use a squished up bag. Why? Because it's recyclable. I'm re using it, so it's being recycled right now. And uh, it's safe, or safer anyway. A wet, oily rags are not so safe because any oil can be flammable. So you just gotta be careful. Anyway, this is how I apply it. I really like this process. It works beautifully. And you can see that. I'm gonna zoom in for you. This is really nice. It will penetrate and it will be dry by morning time. Yeah, looking good. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Support your sponsor. They got everything in stock. Shop with the professional chefs. ChefDepot.com.